Hey guys, this is David. He was in a golf cart accident with his buddies years ago, has had neck and shoulder pain ever since. He's tried prolotherapy, electrostimulation, chiropractic, ring dinger, chiropractic, Y strap, distraction, spent $100,000 trying to get out of pain. He has tons of symptoms. He has bloating, heartburn, headaches, vertigo, ringing in the ears, TMJ, brain fog. He is a mouth breather and has pigeon chest. We found my channel, we examined him, and you can see the pain in his face. We took x-rays, you can see the scoliosis, we adjusted him. Why are you here, sir? To get rid of my shoulder and neck pain, um, back pain. Bold it happened when, I... when it was 52. What did you do to hurt yourself, 52? I was golfing and I got a whiplash in a golf cart. Took off quicker than I sat back in the, the chair. Like this. Um, I've done prolotherapy, I've done um, TENS units, I've done he wears all this kinds one of chiropractors. All the time. Yeah, 24-7. Because if he doesn't wear this? I stress out. Gotcha. A uh, ton of chiropractors, um, I've done the ring dinger, I've done the Y-strap, the spinal decompression. Everything has cost thousands of dollars. I. What have you spent over the years trying to get better? Over a hundred. Hundred thousand, not a hundred dollars. Hundred thousand dollars, guys. For how much do you believe I'm going to help you? Give me, give me a percentage. I'm kind of curious. Twenty-five. Wow, that's even more than I thought. I thought he was going to see. I was watching um, YouTube, and I watched the video, and it excited me. Yeah. Because I thought there might be hope. Usually, right? Um, people crying that they're out of pain. So. He I'm, wants me to make him cry. I kind of want to cry. His major symptom is left neck, left shoulder. Can't It just freaking hurts him all the time. But the other thing is what? Bloating. Bloating. Tell us about this bloating. Tell us yeah. what bloating is about. Always bloated. For how many years? Um, oh, God. Ten. Ten years. Acid reflux, um, hiatal hernia. How long have you had that, sir? Um, about ten, ten years also. He also has other intestinal issues. Diarrhea kind of comes and goes too. Yes. But how many years has gas, that been? Gas, terribly. Terrible gas. That's right. He says yes. his girlfriend's, I mean. Don't date me. Exactly. <laughs> gas my whole life. Your whole life? Um, but, yeah. Gotcha. Ten, ten, twelve years. I have a thumb that is painful most of the time. Gotcha. And then uh, headaches. Tell us about your headache right now. Headache right now is about a three. A little dizziness, lightheadedness. Uh, once vertigo. a day. Once a day also. Okay. TMJ. It pops a lot. Uh, tinnitus. Left ear, by yes. the way. How long have you had that? It comes and goes for a couple of years now. Uh, some other things. Cramping legs in the morning. Really yes, bad cramps. Really bad cramps. And, uh, legs in the morning. Legs at night. Brain fog for a couple of years. Yep. And knee straight. Knee straight. How much pain and tension in your back, sir? Um, about a three right now. About a three. Got you. Stand up. Now back like this, sir. How much that? No, no. Put your hands in your back, please. How much tension in your back there? Uh, about a three. About a three. Put your arms down. Look at the floor, please. Tension your neck. None. None. Look at the ceiling, please. Two. Two. Now, this interesting one is lift your left arm above his head. How much tension in your left arm and your neck, left neck? Uh, about a six. Gotcha. Put it down. Now put it behind your back, please. Six. Six. His x-rays, x-rays are pretty awful. Uh, lots of scoliosis, lots of arthritis, big uh, growth in the back of the head. Atlas is worn off about half. I'm gonna adjust the C4 uh, uh, right there where it goes reversed on him. Hoo wee, look at these x-rays. 14 millimeter imbalance, 15 degree scoliosis, good one. 12 millimeter right short leg and 13 millimeter pelvic rotation. One half Atlas wear, huge EOP hook, lots of missing teeth, compression fracture, and associative arthritis. <sighs> Just like all the other doctors? I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> Was that similar or different, sir? Um, similar, but you held it a little. We got David up here, and he's feeling a little bit woozy. So we're going to give him the one over and ask him how he's doing. Let's listen in. So, a little lightheaded. So, but again, lightheadedness is good because it's rebooting the system. Okay, David, head down the hall and recalibrate that spine. Spread that little wooziness through your whole body, and you'll feel better. Let's listen in. It was a different experience. Okay. Uh, $100,000 of investment, and this is different than everything else so far. So far. Good, perfect. And so what is different about it? Um, just the way you adjust. Um, it seems like you held it a lot longer than a, usually a chiropractor will crack and you're done. Gotcha. 
Now, the reason I do that, guys, I've said this many times in my videos too, is because my job is to change the frame of the car that's bent. And so if I do this on a frame, what's it gonna do? Nothing. But if I do this and keep pushing it and try to straighten that frame out, at least I'll get some compliance from twisting, changing the, the metal urgy of it. Does that make sense, guys? Makes Same sense. thing with the spine. Just standing here, do you feel anything different? Um, not much, no. Gotcha. I, tightness still on the shoulder. Gotcha, it was an eight before, was it now? I didn't get that. No, 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 no twist and turn. Eight still? Six. Six, a tiny bit less. Just as best you can. Tension in your back there? How much? One. One? One stand up? That was a three before. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, back like this, sir. That Two. was a six, I think, or something like that. Something like that. Look at the floor. There's this is a nothing one. Yeah, nothing. Look, nothing. look at the ceiling. That was a two before. Nothing. Got you. Now step forward, please, a little bit. Now, the big one, which uh, he will, is probably going to be surprised with this. Lift your left arm above your head. Nothing. Nothing. That was Nothing. a six before. That's right. his chief complaint. That's... Put it down, please. Behind your back. Nothing. Okay, now put this down. We'll check the right arm for he gets a chips point. and grins. I get one point, exactly. So, uh, David, say goodbye. Bye. Tell us how these last couple days have been, sir. Um, intense. Good. Um, I kind of feel like um, um, he's a miracle worker. Uh, oh, I appreciate that. It's been 15 years, and for the first time, I haven't had left shoulder pain in two days. And he just sat out in the waiting room. He goes, I tell every new chiropractor I go to, I'll give you a couple months. Yes. And we've only been three days and he's not wearing the TENS unit. Yes. Not bad. Good. Oh, this is tough. Yep. And so, uh, do you feel pain up in your head? For sure, probably. Yes. Yep. Down in your shoulders at all or just your head? Yes. Yep. So this guy has overutilized his shoulders for years because he has a pigeon chest. Uh, I know that's called, a, a pigeon chest is a, kind of a hydrofoil chest where your uh, chest gets all kind of pointy. I'll put a picture like that in the video right now. Um, but again, that's a re that he does that because he can't breathe. So he also is a mouth breather all his life, which is one of the reasons he has all this pain. Nose breathing, guys, is very important because you use your diaphragm, not your chest. Anyways, this hurts because he's been doing it so long. Your brain feels relaxed, right? Yes. And so that's because the I'm actually taking away your fight or flight response. Because when your shoulders are down, your brain perceives relaxation. When your shoulders are up, like the hair on your back, like a hair on a dog or a mm -hmm. cat, that means you're ready to fight. Right. And you're always ready to do that because your, hand, yes. your shoulders are never relaxed. Right. So I can artificially make your brain relax by doing this. So when you're doing the A-pans, you can make this happen for yourself. That's why we do it. Do you see that whole connection? I do. Good, perfect. Good, you're doing good here. You're actually sitting pretty darn good. I like this. Good, good. Okay, let it go. Drop. Good, nice. Not too bad. Except for that uh, huh? finger in the eye. Okay. This one here? <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> okay, keep the body forward here. Good. Okay. Mm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Not too bad there. Not too bad. I would say I'm doing about 50 to 60 cent. 60% better. Okay. Have you ever told a chiropractor that ever in your life? I'm kind of curious, actually. Um, just before I left the office, but usually it lasts an hour. An hour. And how long are we going this week? Um, yeah, well, that's five days later. I, you, I wear a TENS device 24-7 usually, and I haven't used it in three days. Uh, I had a little emotional breakdown. <coughs> and causes me pain yeah so and so uh, as he says fight or flight is really pay is really a big deal for him it's a big deal yeah so we're having to take control of his stress a little bit and you're like how do you do that well first you acknowledge it then we got to deal with when it happens and then we got to show him that he can actually help himself more than he thinks he doesn't think he can and we're gonna get him there and so we're just realizing that right now and I am a stubborn <coughs> one. and what's that I'm a stubborn one yes shoulder pain is your number one cause of your reason here what how is that going it went from a seven to uh, about a one. And then what about the left neck? Same thing? Um, it was about a six, seven, and <coughs> it's right now at about a one. Okay, gotcha. Now, a big one, which was number three on his list, is bloating. Yeah, that's amazingly come down to next to nothing. How many years have you been dealing with that? Oh, 20. 
What have I done on you all week? Adjust my neck. Skeptical Sam here. That's a good one. Skeptical Sam. Because I've been everywhere else. Yeah, he's been everywhere else. But Skeptical Sam didn't really believe that I was going to get better. He's here because he wanted to. But pretty cool so far, right? Very good, cool. Good, 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 good. Left thumb. How's your left thumb? Doesn't and hurt. Low back here. We still have some pain here, a I would say. Bit. But how much better is that? I'm kind of curious. Um, good. It's uh, not hurting right now. Headaches every day. I haven't yeah. even asked you about them one time. Don't have one. Lightheaded. Every day, lightheaded sometimes. Little bit. Sometimes when I'm walking, but How much nothing. Better? Oh, 10%, 20%, 30%, 70. Left TMJ, jaw. Um, Cracking. It doesn't here. make. I just opened, right? Yeah. Did you hear one? I didn't hear anything. There's a little. Yeah, but I mean, how much better is that? Good. How much better is your sleep? I can't wait to hear Amazing. this. Amazing. It's a lot better. How's your anxiety? Um, It worked every. <laughs> Everything but this morning or last. No, I know, yeah, but I mean, just morning. in a general sense. I'm not saying it's perfect, but how I much better do you think much you are? Much better. I, I'm in general, you feel less relaxed. Anxiety. I'm um, anxious. Um, not anxious. Excited. Brain fog. Any change with brain fog? Mm. Concentration. Memory. I didn't even think. No. I didn't think. That's pretty funny. He's been a pun there. So no change. You're thinking. No. You didn't think you had a problem before. I did have a problem. Okay, but so I is haven't it better? had a problem. Yeah. Oh, so it's better. Okay, gotcha, yes. gotcha, gotcha. Knees. Um. Maybe a one gotcha. every once in a while, but it was almost Here's every a big day. one I forgot to even ask of this left ringing in the ears. Oh, it hasn't rang at all. And daily heartburn. Nope. Diarrhea, constipation. How have the poopsies changed? Everything's good. Consistently every morning. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, wee. That was good, actually. Damn. Which allows me to adjust you way better. Okay, let this go. Excellent. Good. Not bad, cheesy. First Atlas adjustment today, guys, and uh, I'll let you guys watch. Good. Nice. Oh, but I still nice play. shoes. Nice shoes. Kicks. Kicks. <laughs> Olakai. He was always told, by the way, that Atlas is the most important adjustment because it helps all the vertigo and all that crap. But I've only adjusted C4 all week and all that stuff's gone away. So obviously the Atlas game is important, but not the most important thing. Structure leads function, guys. Okay, let this go. Drop, drop, drop. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a little hard on this side. You can feel it. Drop, drop, drop. Turn a little bit. Right, right there. Wow. Wow. Woo-wee! It's gonna fucking hurt, dude. And, okay. Okay, you breathe in your nose. And, breathe. Ah! Fuck me! Oh. That burns right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna hurt tonight, too, by the way. Ice it? <laughs> Let me push the air out of you. Breathe in. Out. Okay, relax. Breathe in again. Push the belly down. Here. Okay. Oh, God. Push the belly down here. He had a setback after Wednesday's adjustment. I did. And he didn't come yesterday. He just didn't come in, messaged me, good boy, told me he's not coming in. But why? What happened between Wednesday and today? Today's Friday. Um, I had an intense adjustment and it uh, caused my body to react. Um, made me nauseous, made me vomit. Uh, How often do you vomit before this? Never, yeah. which caused me a lot of um, mental. I <laughs> learned a lot from it. But I've, he I've been like a one or a two this week and when I first came I was at a seven. Now we also taught him how to sleep. How difficult is that? I'm kind of um, curious. Because he has a bed that yeah, elevates. Yeah, adjusting. And I told him to sleep flat. Yes. So it was um, different, um, more relaxing to sleep on my back. So, than before? Yes. Gotcha. Now I'm going to tell you the one thing why I think he threw up is because we adjust his clavicles. He is a mouth breather, pigeon chest, always mouth breather his whole life. And so by adjusting him, he's now breathing through his nose. 
and now that I've loosened up his chest, he can call up more phlegm and disgusting right. crap I from was deeper, deeper than it's ever breathed. And so he's pulling that stuff up. Plus, I made him go flat on his bed. So instead of being propped up, now the phlegm could even come up even more, which he gagged on. And that's what I think would happen all to him. I've been working on his uh, thoracic a little bit because, again, this pigeon chest, so much scar tissue through here. And so the more that I can loosen up these ribs in here, the more a deeper breath he can take. Okay, breathe in for me. In the nose. Out. Drop the shoulders. Reach into the tape. Oh, there we baby. Go. Oh. You want another? No. <laughs> I could say something, but I'm just going to be quiet. Why? Because I have your neck in my hand? Yeah. But yeah, maybe that is why I'm a, a mouth breather, that's, because my nose plugs that's up. That's part of the problem, too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, my nose has been broken three times. I forgot about that. Yeah. I told you. That. But I could tell by looking at it. Well, when I started and I first sat in the chair in the waiting room, um, I was very slouched, out of balance. Um, pain was like at a seven. And um, every day it just kept getting better. Better First day was really good, um, pain free instantly. And then um, as I'm learning and going through this, um, I haven't had more than a one or a two in pain in 15 years so nice nice feeling nice. pretty good the bloating this is a big one guys this bloating is, one he, he is hated. almost gone yeah he came in this morning and says it's almost gone and it was daily all the time how about the farting not well thanks but <laughs> not as many <laughs> well you told me the first day yes constant but constant now it's not here how's your little back tl junction how about um, there? Down low back, I woke up this morning with a little pain, but... How is it overall? Improved? Much better. Yeah, yes. how about the headaches? Um, I haven't had one. Uh, daily lightheaded? Lightheaded every... Um, periodically. a little bit. Gotcha. But I get out of it. Jaw pain? Popping, or popping, I guess. That has gotten a lot better. Sleeping, anxiety, brain fog? S sleeping is much better, and what was your name again? Left ear tonight, it's ringing your ears? Nope. Uh, heartburn every day? No. And the diarrhea, how about the diarrhea? No. Yeah, he's gotten a ton of guys at all about the gut, right? And how much you spent on all your last 15 years? I would say $100,000. $100,000. And how long has it been with me? Just uh, two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks, right? A little yeah. over two weeks. Two weeks in a day. But actually, one day or two days, and most of the symptoms were gone. Okay. He went to a guy in LA, did what kind of adjustment on you for 11 months? Ringdinger. Yeah, he did it for 11 months on him. He's gone to somebody locally and they did the what? Neck. The, 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 what's that called? Y strap. The y strap. And he's gone to all these people and you're, take a look back at the x-rays, I'll put them up right now. If that thing was so good, his spine wouldn't look like a twisted road. And so it would have pulled his neck straight, right? It didn't because that's anti-gravity and de decompression. He's done de decompression before too. Does not work, guys. It does not work. Yes. And he's here to show that. And again, uh, I, I, I have I, every I, gadget there is to name. He's going to hopefully give us those pictures. He calls me Tin Cup. He's Tin Cup of chiropractic. He, he took a picture of himself at home. He goes, look at all those things in front of the pictures. That's all the stuff I have on my table. Just a few. <laughs> just a few. Uh, anything else you want to answer? Um, I'm just glad I, I live locally so I can keep coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. So he has this, again, I've told you this in previous videos that he has this little compression fracture right down here. There's a lot of his pain right here. When I push here, he can feel that pain right there. He wants me to wait, so I'm going to wait to adjust that. I can't wait, and when I get that adjustment, you guys will be the first to see it. <laughs> Say goodbye, Bob. Bye, Bob. <laughs>